We've organised the event here today to bring together all our stakeholders. That's from government who are helping fund the, the grant that's led towards the build programme, from industry who've co-funded this and brought it together, to customers who are using the facilities now that we've already put in place and running trials with us. It's so good to see such diverse people really communicating and talking about the challenges we all have to decarbonise our transport system, to stop people dying and being injured on our roads, to reduce congestion. All these clever people coming together, really understanding what we can do next that's going to work for business as well as for society. So at BP, we really recognise that sort of people and things are moving in really different ways. And what we want to understand is how we work across the business to support and enable that. How do we power the vehicles of the future? How do we use our retail and forecourt presence? How do we develop our fleet services offer? And it's through activities like this and working in partnership that we'll really be able to understand that. It's really important that everyone here gets the chance to engage with these sort of systems because actually one of the biggest barriers to using autonomous vehicles in the future is people trialling them and not being used to sitting in them and using them. So actually days like today are super important. So Immense are a member of the SRP here, which is the Shared Research Programme, and we are supporting uh, the partners within the programme to help them do good experiments about the future of mobility using simulation. Are providing the vehicle that we here see here today. It's a Nissan EMV 200. Um, so we've added in the drive-by-wire systems, compute systems, and sensors needed for autonomous driving. The level of work and the breadth of work that's going on to make it happen, the partners that are involved, the diversity. Um, that's that's really what you get out of something like today. The networking, of course, it's always a bonus. I think here on the lab we can start to prove some real uh, practical use cases and trials and prove this tech uh, in the place, in the built environment, but serving sort of public good, public access. We're doing a lot of work to provide um, the physical spaces and the properties and then we're also um, leading on the work to provide the communications infrastructure, so the fibre backbone to the, um, to the monitoring sites.